Now, after days of fairly peaceful protest, police in Thailand have fought back against demonstrators demanding the overthrow of the government. They fired tear gas and rubber bullets in street battles as the protesters tried to force their way into the Prime Minister's offices. Our Asia correspondent, John Sparks, is in the capital, Bangkok, and earlier I asked him what had prompted the violence. Well, after a week of uh, pretty good-natured protests in Bangkok, parts of this city have descended into anarchy and chaos. There were tens of thousands of people out on the streets today in what protest organizers had billed as Victory Day. Several television stations were stormed and protesters took on police at the gate to the main government complex in town. They were trying to get into the Prime Minister's office to seize it, but this time, for the first time, the police fought back with water cannon and pepper spray and volleys of tear gas. But the situation may well get worse. The government has, in effect, declared a curfew tonight from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. In this, the liveliest of cities, people are being told to stay at home. So, John, what's this really about? Well, demonstrators say that Yinglak Shinawat and her ministers rigged the last election. And they say that she and her billionaire brother, Taksin Shinawat, run Thailand for their own personal benefit. Taksin Shinawat is a former prime minister. He fled the country about seven years ago after he was convicted on abuse of power charges. On the other side, the protest is being led by a fiery politician called Sutep Tuaksaban. He initially called it a peaceful campaign of disobedience, but he's starting to look like a strong man now. In a televised speech tonight, he reiterated his key demands that Yinglak resign immediately and that in her place, a non-elected council be formed to run the country. And I can tell you tonight that Yinglak met Sutip to Aksuban. They met in person. He, re he reiterated those demands and he said it wasn't a negotiation. And, and how representative is he? Well, he's not. He enjoys support here in Bangkok amongst the middle class and the rich, uh, amongst sections of the army and the civil service. But I think if Yinglak was to hold an election tomorrow, she'd win it. But she and Taksin are wildly popular amongst the rural poor here in Thailand. And I think that's why the protesters are, are doing what they're doing in the name of democracy. They are trying to muscle her out. But I think the result is frankly predictable. A nasty stalemate is brewing and it could get a whole lot worse. John Sparks in Bangkok.